Welcome back. Are you concerned again about the security of your valuable data in the cloud? Unlock the power of secure cloud computing with our cutting edge access control solution. Say goodbye to unauthorized access and data breaches. The platform which are available like Google Cloud Platform, Azure, AWS provides a robust authentication, granular authorization and real-time monitoring to ensure your sensitive data remains protected. Take control of your user permissions, manage privileges effortlessly and gain full visibility into user activities. Experience the peace of mind that comes with fortified cloud security. Join me today and empower yourself and your business with the ultimate access control solution for cloud computing. Don't miss this presentation. It is a game-changing opportunity. This is the video too. I'm talking about access control as a part of fundamentals in security considerations. Access control. Controlling who has access to your cloud resources is crucial. Implementing strong authentication mechanism such as a multi-factor authentication in short MFA helps ensure that only authorized personnel can access sensitive information or make changes to the cloud environment. There are multiple options available, username and password, multiple factor authentication, MFA, single sign-on, security assertion, mock-up language, SAML, OAuth, OpenID Connect, certificate-based authentication, and biometric authentication. Let's take a detailed look at each one of them. Username and password. In cloud computing, various authentication mechanisms are used to verify, to identify the users and to ensure that only authorized individuals or system can access the cloud resources. Number one, username and password. This is the most widely used authentication method. Users provide a unique username and a corresponding password to access their cloud accounts. However, it is important to use a very strong password and enforce password policies to prevent unauthorized access. Multi-factor authentication. MFA enhances security by requiring users to provide additional forms of verification in addition to a password. This typically involves something the user knows, the password, something that user has a kind of a token or a mobile device or something the user is biometric data such as a fingerprint or facial recognition mfa significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access even if passwords are compromised single sign-on SSO enables users to access multiple cloud services and applications with a single set of credentials. Users log in once using their authentication provider, then they can seamlessly access various services without repeatedly entering their credentials. SSO enhances user experience and simplifies identity management while maintaining the security. Security access in mockup language, SAML, some people call that SAML. SAML is an XML based standard used for exchanging authentication and authorization data between identity providers and service providers. It enables seamless and secure single sign-on across different organization and cloud services. SAML is commonly used in cloud-based identity federation scenarios. OAuth OAuth is an open standard for authorization that enables users to grant third-party applications access to their cloud resources without sharing their credentials. 
OAuth is commonly used to authenticate and authorize interactions between cloud services and mobile or any web applications, allowing controlled access to any specific resources. OpenID Connect It's an authentication protocol built on top of OAuth 2.0. It provides identity verification and allows users to log into multiple cloud applications using their preferred identity provider. OpenID Connect Open ID Connect is widely adopted in cloud environments and provides a secure and scalable authentication mechanism. Certificate-based authentication involves the use of digital certificates to verify the identity of users or systems. Users are used or issued certificates that contain their public key and other information and the cloud system verifies the certificate's authenticity before granting access. This mechanism is commonly used for secure communication between cloud services and devices. Biometric authentication uses unique physical or behavioral characteristics of individuals, such as fingerprints, facial features, or voice patterns to verify the identities. These authentication mechanisms used individually or in combination provide various levels of security and user experience. Organizations should carefully select and implement appropriate authentication mechanism based on their security requirements, compliance regulations and user needs. Please note that cloud providers may offer additional authentication mechanisms specific to their platforms and organizations should refer to their cloud providers documentation and manual for a comprehensive understanding of available options let's get into the third one is identity and access management managing user identifies and access and their access levels is essential to prevent unauthorized access. Implementing robust IAM policies helps ensure that users are granted appropriate privileges based on their roles and responsibilities. Identity and access management in short IAM is a framework of policies, process and technologies that ensures the appropriate access to the resources within an organization's IT environment. IAM is particularly important in cloud computing where multiple users and systems need to access and interact with cloud resources securely. IAM encompasses various components and types of identities. Let's explore them in detail. Number one, user identity management. User identity management involves managing the identities of individual users within an organization. This includes creating user accounts, assigning roles and permissions, and controlling access to the resources. User identifies or user identities are typically associated with unique username and password or other mechanisms. Role-based access control or BAC is widely adopted approach to access management. It assigns permissions and access rights based on predefined roles that align with job responsibilities or functions. This simplifies access management by allowing permissions to be assigned at a role level rather than individually to each users. Privileged access management, in other words PAM, it focuses on managing and controlling privileged accounts which have elevated access privileges that can significantly impact the security and integrity of systems and data. PAM solutions enforce strict control over privileged accounts, including robust authentication, session monitoring, and accountability. PAM helps mitigate the risk associated with unauthorized access to critical resources. 
identity federation. It enables users from one organization to access resources in other organization using their existing identity credentials. It establishes trust, I mean, a trust relationship between the organizations and allow users to access multiple systems and services without the need for separate credentials. Federation standards such as Security Assertion Mac-up Language, SAML, and OpenID Connect facilitate secure identity federation. Access-based access control, ABAC. It's a flexible access control model that controls or grants access based on combination of attributes, policies, and rules. ABAC considers various attributes such as user attributes, resource attributes, um, environmental att attributes, and contextual information to determine access decision. This model provides a fine-grained access control and dynamic authorization based on specific attributes and conditions. Single sign-on, in other words, SSO, allows users to authenticate once and gain access to multiple actions or systems without the need for repeated logins. It provides a seamless user experience while reducing the burden of remembering and managing multiple credentials. SSO is typically achieved through the use of federation standards like SAML and OpenID Connect. Access Request and Approval Workflow IAM systems often include workflows for access request and approval processes. When users need access to specific resources, they initiate a request through IAM system. The request goes through an approval workflow where designated approvers review and approve or deny the access request based on defined policies and roles. Audit and Compliance Audit and Compliance IAM systems also play a crucial role in audit and compliance activities. They provide mechanisms of tracking and monitoring user access, generating audit logs, and facilitating compliance reporting. IAM solutions can help organizations meet regulatory requirements by maintaining a comprehensive record of access activities and enforcing access control. Organizations should implement IAM solutions that align with their security requirements, business needs, and cloud service provider capabilities to effectively and efficiently manage identities and access control to their cloud resources. I hope you enjoy this video because we put a lot of thought process based on the user requirements. If you do have more questions about cloud security, especially on access control, identity, and access management, please feel free to reach us at 1855cloud34db or email at as contact us at rctech.org. If you like this video, like it, comment it, subscribe to our channel, please forward it to your friends. Enjoy this video and I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.